okay so uh, these are the big data tools okay so today we will see uh, the tool that is the hadoop okay how we can work with the hadoop but before working in hadoop okay so small introduction of hadoop Apache Foundation. This Hadoop is developed by the Dirk Cutting in two thousand five. In two thousand five, okay, uh, who named after his son's toy elephant, and uh, this whole framework, this Hadoop framework, is written in Java. Okay, the concept of Hadoop. Okay, in in this there are two main core components. There, the uh, HDFS and the MapReduce. So these concepts are taken from the Google MapReduce and the Google file system. So as I told you, there are two core components of the Hadoop. That is HDFS and the MapReduce. So uh, two things mainly two things are <coughs> done in the Hadoop, the first in the is the processing and the storage. So you can uh, store the data into the Hadoop, and you can process the data into the Hadoop. Any kind of data, uh, whether it is structured, whether it is semi-structured, or whether it is unstructured, all the types of data can be stored and processed in the Hadoop. So for data storage, Hadoop is having HDFS. For storing the data, okay, Hadoop is having HDFS, that is the Hadoop Distributed File System, and to process the data, Hadoop is having MapReduce. Okay, after uh, processing the data, you can generate the reports. You can use your data into the applications, and you can perform any kind of analytics on the Data and in HDFS, okay, uh, you can store data as it is. Okay, you don't have to change the format of the data. As it is, you can store the data into the HDFS. That is the advantage of the hub. So remember these two things in the hub. Okay, you have you can do two things. You can store your data, any kind of data, into the hub. And you can process any kind of data into the hub. For storage, HDFS is there. For processing, MapReduce is there. So these are the two core components: HDFS and the MapReduce. Then another thing that is Hadoop is having master-slave architecture. So first of all, what is master-slave architecture? Okay, so in the master-slave architecture, one master node is there. Okay, one master is there, and more than one slaves are there. Okay, whatever master is <coughs> telling. Okay, whatever master <coughs> is telling, the slave performs those task. The task will be assigned by the master, and this task will be performed by the slave. Okay, so only one master node will be there, and more than one slave nodes will be there in the master-slave architecture. So, Uh, sorry, Hadoop. Okay, Hadoop is the node base. It is having the node based master slave architecture. Okay, 
so node based master slave architecture means what so it is having hadoop is uh, having the cluster okay so what is cluster cluster is nothing but the collection of nodes which are connected with the same network okay so cluster is just like this okay for example this is first node this is second node this is third node and this is fourth node suppose there are four nodes four nodes means four servers okay and once network switch is there okay and this four nodes are connected with this network switch so it becomes the cluster so this is known as the cluster okay so hadoop is having the cluster based master slave architecture so in this one node is the master node and other nodes are the slave nodes this hadoop is having the horizontal scaling okay there are two types of scaling vertical scaling and the horizontal scaling so what is a uh, vertical scaling first of all so for example if you take uh, uh, this cluster okay this node okay if uh, you need more resources okay so if you node uh, if you add the resources in this particular if you add the resources in this particular node okay up to its limitation for example ke uh, suppose if this node is uh, you can <coughs> uh, suppose extend its rem up to 12 uh, gb okay so more than 12 gb you cannot add uh, rem into memory into the particular node so this is called vertical scaling but in the hadoop it is having the horizontal scaling so what is horizontal scaling so horizontal scaling means you can add nodes directly into the cluster okay if uh, it requires more resources directly you can add the node into the cluster so this is called the horizontal scaling so hadoop is having horizontal scaling second thing it is having the replication and sharding so what is the first of all sharding 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 is nothing but the partitioning of the data so if your data is like this okay if you are having one database okay in that suppose 1 2 3 4 okay four rows are there then suppose first two rows you are storing into this and then next two rows you are storing into this okay this kind of sharding this kind of partition you can do in the hadoop and second thing is the replication the replication is nothing but the duplication of the data and you can uh, hadoop uh, suppose if you take the example of hadoop the by default replication factor is 3 so if you are uh, having this uh, suppose data so this data will be stored in the first node okay and its two replicas will be stored in another two nodes so that is the <clears throat> default replication of the hub that is 3 okay the main copy will be stored in one node and other two copies will be stored in the other two nodes so what is the benefit of that so suppose this node uh, <coughs> is having some problem in your data is lost okay then this data can be recovered from any of this two nodes okay so this is the benefit so your data will be always available so availability is the characteristic of the hadoop so scaling is there availability is there okay so your data never be lost so now we are jumping the, to the core components of the hadoop so first is the hdfs hdfs is nothing 
but the Hadoop distributed file system in which you can store your data in the same format okay <clears throat> so in this hdfs okay as i told you you can store your data and the default replication factor okay whatever data you are storing okay its two replicas will be created so its default replication factor is 3 okay one main, uh, one main copy and two secondary copies okay and the default block size okay as i told you your data will be partitioned okay so hadoop is having the block structure okay hadoop is having uh, this hdfs is having the block structured architecture so your data will be like this for example you are having one file okay so uh, in this file suppose there are 120 sorry 130 mb of data is there for example okay so <clears throat> directly this 130 mb cannot be stored into the hdfs okay so if you want to store 130 MB into the HDFS, okay, your data will be divided into the blocks. Okay, your data will be divided into the blocks. Okay, and each block size, default block size of HDFS is 64 MB. Remember this thing. Okay, each block is having the 64 MB. Okay, default block size, you can extend it up to the 128 MB. Okay. It can be extended up to 128 MB. So your data is suppose 130 MB. Then you, the first 64 MB will be stored in this. Next 64 MB will be stored in this. And rest of the MBs will be stored in this block. Okay. So remember this thing. This Hadoop, this HDFS is having the block structure. Distributed architecture. Okay, and each block, okay, default size is 64 MB, which can be extended up to 128 MB. Okay, so now how this... Uh, file whatever file is there suppose 130 mb file is there and this file name is for example input.txt okay so this file will be stored in hdfs through the hdfs commands okay and its url is hdfs colon slash slash and then you have to uh, give the port number and the host name. Host name, port number, and then whatever directory is there, whatever file name is there, that you have to specify over here. Okay. So this is the HDFS URL. So for example, in my uh, <coughs> Hadoop, okay, the host name is the local host and the port number is the 50071. Okay, so I have to write like this HDFS colon slash slash localhost colon 50071 and then my file name. Suppose input one, uh, one txt, then I have to specify that. So this is HDFS. Now, in the HDFS, how this HDFS is managed? Okay, so for that, its daemons are there. Okay, we have to start the servers. Whenever we start the uh, this Hadoop, now we have to start all the servers. So for the HDFS, okay, we have to start two servers, okay, that is name node and the data node, okay. So its daemons are name node, data node, and one is there that is secondary name node, okay. 
so what is name node so name node is the master node in the hdfs okay name node is the master node as i told you in the hadoop master slave architecture only one master is available right so this name node is master node so this is only one okay so <clears throat>
sorry for the interruption again i am repeating what i have explained okay uh so uh, as i told you in the name node the name node is the master node okay two things is stored in this that first is the metadata of the file system and the second is the information of the data node okay where the data node is there what is the location of the data node okay uh, which block is stored in which data node which data node is right now free which data node is fail each and every information about the data node is stored in the name node suppose that it is having two things one is fs image and the edit log so fs image is the file okay in which entire system is stored and edit log is the transaction uh, whatever <clears throat> updation you are doing in the, with the data okay for example you are inserting data or you are updating some information in the file or you are removing the information from the file this transaction log is stored in the edit log and this edit log snapshot is available in the secondary name node okay so what is the use of secondary name node ओके सो इफ नेम नॉट फेल्स ओके कोई भी कारण से अगर नेम नॉट फेल हो गया ओके सो सपोज सेकेंडरी नेम नॉट इज नॉट अवेलेबल ओके योर ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी लॉस ओके सो फॉर दैट सेकेंडरी नेम नॉट इज देयर इन विच इट इज हैविंग ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द नेम नॉट अबाउट योर डेट फाइल सिस्टम ओके through the edit log is that okay so what happened so if name node is fail okay the secondary name node will be name node okay but you cannot have the hot backup of your data okay because recent changes will not maybe not stored in the edit log whatever the information of uh, available in the edit log only those information will be there in the secondary name node so you cannot have the hot backup of your data or in <clears throat> information and the next daemon is the data node okay so this can be more than one okay ek bhi ho sakta hai more than one data nodes can be available in the hdfs so what is the task of the data node so data node will store the data Okay, whatever your data are there, it will be stored in the data node. If metadata is stored in name node, actual data is stored in the data node. Okay, and uh, it will send the heartbeat message to the name node. Okay, it will send the heartbeat message to the name node. Why heartbeat message? because through heartbeat message okay name not <coughs> can understand that this data node is still live okay so one in the hdfs one master node that is the name node is there okay and more than one data nodes are there okay so जो भी क्लाइंट ओके क्लाइंट सपोज कोई क्लाइंट दे वॉन्ट स्टोर ही और शी वॉन्ट स्टोर द फाइल ओके फर्स्ट ही और शी विल कॉन्टेक्ट द नेम नोट ओके देन द नेम नोट विल डू एवरीथिंग बिकॉज नेम नोट इट नोज वेर विच डेटा नोट इज राइट नाउ फ्री ओके सो दिस इज सपोज डेटा नोट वन दिस इज सपोज डेटा नोट टू and this is suppose data node 3 okay so for example 64 mb data is there this file <coughs> is there then first 64 mb will be stored in this second will be stored miss its replica will be stored in this two data nodes okay and this data node will send the heartbeat message to the name node that i am alive i am alive okay अगर वो हार्ड बिट मैसेज किसी डेटा नोट से नहीं मिल रहा है नेम नोट तो इट मींस वो समझ जाएगा नेम नोट कि दिस डेटा नोट इज 
रीड ओके सो कोई डिमांड करता है पर्टिकुलर फाइल रीड करने के सो नेम नोट विल फैच दो डेटा फ्रॉम अदर डेटा नोट ओके सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डेमेंट्स ऑफ एच डी एफ एस सो थ्री डेमेंट्स आर द नेम नोट डेटा नोट एंड द सेकेंडरी नेम नोट देन the next is the map reduce okay so map reduce uh, is nothing but it is the programming model okay map reduce is nothing but it is the programming model in which uh, we can process our data okay so map reduce it is the programming model in this we can write the code okay you can nowadays you can use python code also for map reduce okay java code is there so any language you can select for writing the map reduce code okay in this the input file whatever input file is there it will be pleated into the small chunks okay so the app ki file it will be first pleated into the small small records okay and this records will be distributed among the different nodes in the cluster okay whatever chunks are there this chunks will be distributed among different nodes in the cluster okay and each chunk will be processed in the parallel manner okay whatever task is assigned okay whatever input file is there it will be uh, splitted into the small small chunks okay for example suppose one file is there uh, there are suppose four nodes in the cluster four nodes are there in the cluster okay and the file is like this okay so suppose this part is stored in this node this part is stored in this node and this part is stored in this node okay so for example in this uh, for i uh, <coughs> in this suppose it have to do with uh, <coughs> it have to do like this uh, a, uh, this you have to perform the x plus sorry only x square into this you have to perform x cube of this part and you have to perform x raised to 4 in this part okay x square in this of this data x cube of this data and x raised to 4 of this data okay so what it will be uh, so your data first it will be distributed among the different nodes of the cluster and each chunk okay each chunk will be processed in the parallel manner okay har ek node hai parallelly एक ये डेटा का ये एक्स स्क्वेयर फाइंड कर देगा एक्स क्यूब ये और एक्स स्क्वेयर एट अ टाइम ओके साइमल्टेनियसली दिस डेटा विल बी प्रोसेस्ड ओके सो दैट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ द मैप रिव्यूज ओके फॉर एग्जांपल के सपोज आई एम एक्चुअली फैकल्टी सो सपोज आई हैव टू चेक 100 पेपर्स 100 एग्जाम पेपर्स ओके जस्ट मिनट Okay, for example, uh, I have to check hundred uh, exam papers. Okay, and uh, average suppose each uh, paper. Okay, uh, suppose one paper I check average ten uh, uh, minutes. It requires ten minutes to check one paper. Okay, so thousand <clears throat> minutes I require to check the hundred papers. 
okay so it will take 1000 minutes if i check all the papers individually instead of this okay i distributed 10 10 papers to different different person okay and average each person is taking 10 minutes to check the paper so within 100 minutes i can have the result okay so your time will be saved but the condition is there all the papers should be checked simultaneously okay aisa nahi hona chahiye ki first pehle 10 10 papers hai isne check kar liye baad mein ye check kar raha hai baad mein ye check kar raha hai this should not be there all the papers should be checked in the uh, parallel manner okay then i can have the result within the 100 minutes okay so the time will be saved so this is the uh, actually working of the map reviews your data will be distributed among different different nodes and each node will process your data in the parallel manner okay so it, a map reduce is the programming man uh, model okay you have to write code okay what kind of process you want to do on the data so there are two demands of the map reduce one is job tracker and second is the task tracker again as i told you part of this following the master slave architecture so this job tracker is the master node okay and this task tracker is the slave node okay so master node is only one okay so it is a single point of failure task tracker can be more than one so what is the task of job tracker so job tracker kya karega? it will <coughs> accept job request from the client okay client pe wo job request accept karega and then it divides the job request into the task different different tasks okay and it will schedule and assign the task to the slave node okay for example one job tracker is there okay and three task trackers are there okay so job tracker will accept the job from the client it splitted the jobs and <coughs> suppose job one job two and job three Okay, so job one will be assigned to this task tracker, job two will be assigned to this task tracker, and job three will be assigned to this task tracker. And this task tracker will perform the task. Whatever task is assigned by the job tracker, okay, it will be performed by the task trackers. Okay, so task trackers are the slave nodes, job tracker is the master node. Task tracker will perform the task, whatever task is assigned. Okay, for example, uh, suppose uh, there are 20 faculties available. Okay, so uh, the head will decide which faculty will take which subject in which semester and at what time. Okay, and then the faculty will perform this task. Okay, whatever <coughs> uh, subject is allocated to, suppose uh, <coughs> big data is allocated to okay so 11 to 12 for example i have to take lecture okay so i'll perform my task so i'm the task tracker and head is the job tracker here yeah. now uh, let us have the demonstration of hbfs command in the map reduce programming okay so for that first thing is that we have to start all the servers of Hadoop. Okay, so to start the servers of Hadoop, okay, you require the command that is start all. Okay, with this start all command, okay, your service will be started. And yes, uh, one more thing, uh, <coughs> Hadoop version 2. Okay, from first Hadoop version 1 is having only two things that is MapReduce and the HDFS. So whatever the resource allocation task is there, okay, some nodes are demanding more resources. Those kind of resource allocation can be done by the map read. We have to write the program in the map reduce. But from the Hadoop version 2, new concept is introduced that is the yarn. That is 
yet another resource negotiation so you from hadoop version 2 you don't have to write the code of <coughs> resource allocation so if you have data processing ka code likhna hai okay so here uh, <coughs> whenever you start the servers okay jab bhi aap server start karoge it will start four servers okay name node data node resource manager node manager name node and data node are the daemons of the hdfs resource manager and node manager are the daemons of the yarn so your map reduce jobs will be done by the yarn okay so you don't have to start the daemons of <coughs> map reduce okay it will be managed by the yarn so whenever you start the servers okay so start all the is the command to start all the servers of the hadoop if you want to stop all the servers of hadoop stop all is there okay and if you want to check okay your servers are started or not then the write the command jps okay so jps will return how many servers are still live okay so you can see my all the four servers are started data node name node our hdfs servers node manager resource manager are the yarn servers okay instead of start all so if aapko suppose you want to start only hdfs server then you can use start dash hdfs okay if you want to start the yarn uh, daemons servers okay then you just have to write start yarn okay so for starting hadoop server okay you just have to write start all okay instead of this if you want to start hdfs okay then start hdfs then if you want to start only yarn servers then you can write start yarn okay if you want to stop the servers you can use stop all stop hdfs or stop yarn okay now my all the servers are started okay so in the browser if you want to check the information about this okay then in the browser you just have to type local host okay you just have to type local host colon 50070 okay then you can get the information about this if your all servers are started okay <coughs> then you can get information from the browser also so you can see the dfs health the html and here you can see this the first uh, is the overview about your hadoop then the second is the information about your data nodes volume failures snapshot information startup progress and the utilities you can see the progress okay and here in the utilities if you click on the browse the file system okay you can see how many files and directories are available in your hdfs so for that okay first you have to write the root directory okay so hdfs root directory is the slash remember this thing the root directory of the hdfs 
is the slash okay remember this thing so whenever you <coughs> type slash over here okay you can find out how many directories how many files are available in the earth <coughs> so okay you can see this okay so now we will directly jump into the hdfs command okay so first of all uh, uh, we have seen how many our uh, directories and files are available in the hdfs but from the command prompt if you want to list the files okay if you want to list the directories available in your hdfs okay though you have to write the command so first it's the list files in hdfs okay so in that the first is the list directory of root directory okay in the root directory how many directories are available if you want to list this okay almost all the commands are similar to the linux commands okay but here you have to write like this hdfs dfs okay hdfs dfs then dash ls and then the slash because slash is the root directory slash and your directory name okay whatever directory you want to find out okay abhi we need to find out just the directory of the root okay so just write slash over here okay so if you perform this command hdfs dfs dash ls slash okay it will list all the directories available in the root directory okay it will take time because it will fetch the directory from the local host okay till that we will see another commands of this okay so if you want to list directory available in particular directory okay for particular directory ki directory if you want to list then hdfs dfs dash ls and slash yara name okay suppose the re, uh, directory name is map then you just have to write hdfs dfs dash ls slash map okay so whatever directory available in the map directory it will be listed then the next command is the list files and directory available in particular directory okay so for that the command is hdfs dfs dash l dash r and the directory name okay so whatever files and directory available yahan pe kya hoga it will list only the directory available in this directory but if you uh, want to list files also you have to put dash r over here nothing else okay so now see you can see these are the directories available in my root directory okay this will be fetched only if your all the hadoop servers are started otherwise it won't fetch anything okay so before using hdfs command you have to start all the servers of hadoop remember this thing okay now for example i want to list hmm, the files available in the suppose peak demo or oh sorry part 000 okay then hdfs tfs dash ls this r then part dash 000 okay so it will list all the files and directories available in the part this directory okay part dash file zeros okay till it will load the data we'll see other commands 
Okay, now the second is related how you can create the directory in the HDFS. Okay, so create directory in HDFS. Okay, you can use dash mkdir. So for that, HDFS, DFS, dash mkdir. Okay, with the mkdir, you can make the directory in the HDFS. Okay, so you can see only one okay no files are available in this then hdfs dfs suppose i'm making another directory into this mkdir for example i'm creating the directory m3 okay so it will create m3 directory into the hdfs and that you can see from the browser also okay then the third command is related to the copy files from local file system to hdfs suppose and the e drive or d drive some files file is available and if you want to copy that file into the HDFS, then you have to write like this. So here you can see M3 directory is created. Now we will see in the browser it is actually created or not. Just refresh it. Okay. And you can see M3 directory is created. Okay. Uh, at which time, which date it is also mentioned. Okay. So our directory is now created. So what I want to do now, I want to transfer one file, okay, uh, to from my local file system to the HDFS. So here in the E drive, okay, in the map reduce folder, input one dot txt file is there, okay, and I want to move this file into the HDFS. Copy can I move okay, then. For that, what you have to write, okay, you have to write like this, hdfs, dfs, dash copy from local, okay, then here you have to mention the local file path, and here you have to mention the hdfs file path, okay, simple, copy from local, other local, uh, hdfs will local, mein karna hai, then copy to local, okay. So HDFS, DFS, copy from local, local file path, HDFS file path. So here you have to write this, HDFS, DFS, okay, copy, F is capital from, L is capital from local, my file is available in E drive, E drive map reduce, and the file name is input1.txt, and I want this file into the, entry directory okay the fourth one uh, instead of copy from local, you can also use dash put. Okay, copy from local ki jagah pe aap dash put bhi use kar sakte. And if you want to copy files from HDFS to local, okay, then you have to write HDFS DFS dash copy to local. Okay, and then you have to give the HDFS path and then the local file or local directory path okay. okay hdfs path and local directory path you have to specify here you can use dash get also okay instead of copy to local you can use dash get also okay now my file is available in the n3 directory let us see is there or not 
you can see in the nth directory input one dot txt file is there okay so this way you can copy your local file to the hdfs okay then now if you want to see the content of the file okay on the command prompt then you have to use dash cat command okay so to display content of hdfs okay on the console and you can use hdfs tfs dash cat hdfs file path okay so see hdfs tfs dash cat okay n3 input one dot txt and you can see the content of my input one dot txt file onto the console okay let me show you the content of the file so this is my input one dot txt okay these are the words stored in my file and each word is separated with the slash t okay why i'm telling this because uh, we'll see the word count program in the map reduce in that i have mentioned slash t okay in the coding i have mentioned slash t for getting the word from the file okay so remember this thing each word is separated with the slash t and for that you have to create only notepad file okay and you can see the content of the input one dot txt in the console then the next is how to remove the directory from the hdfs okay if you want to remove the directory from the hdfs Okay, then you have to write hdfs tfs dash rm dash r and then the slash dir name. Okay, whatever directory is there, okay, you have to write here. The directory name should be here. So suppose I want to uh, remove suppose uh, n2 directory from this. Then you have to write hdfs tfs dash rm dash r and then suppose n3 is there okay. then it will remove n3 directory okay okay that will be removed so these are the commands of the hdfs okay that you have to use okay for map reduce okay now your slash entry directory is removed okay so these are the commands of hdfs now we are jumping to the map reduce introduction i have already given to you okay so for that you have to create two files one is for the mapper and second is for the reducer okay in the mapper okay the mapper will generate the key value pairs okay mapper will generate the key value pairs and this key value pairs processing okay whatever aggregation you want to perform okay that will be performed by the reducer so here i'm taking the example of word count okay mujhe ye jo file hai okay i want to count the words suppose pizza is there so four times pizza is uh, <clears throat> uh, there in my file so it uh, must show pizza and four okay each word should be counted okay so for that first what you i have to do i have to first generate the key value where i have to separate words from the file okay so for that i have created mapper.py and second i have created reducer.py to count the words okay so in the mapper.py i have generated the key value pairs so first what you have to do 
okay first you have to read the inputs from the console so sys dot standard in okay it will read the line from the console so ye jo wali line thi it will be read okay and then the first thing you have to remove the leading and trailing white spaces if any white spaces are available in the file leading and trailing suppose yahan pe pehle koi space hai aur iske baad mein koi spaces hai so it is not required right so you have to remove that so for that strip function is used so it will first remove the leading and trailing white spaces after that we have to split the words okay so for that line dot split so it will split the words and all the words will be stored in this now what we have to do now we have to generate the key value pairs okay so while generating the key value pairs kya hona chahiye so yahan pe jo bhi words hai suppose pizza mila hai to pizza 1 pani puri 1 pav bhaji 1 pasta 1 garlic bread 1 yahan pe hame kuch bhi <coughs> means summation aur wagera nahi karna hai we just have to separate the words or word ke ba baad mein hame likhna hai 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay so for that if you see the code what i have to do i have done so many words suppose ek ek word liya to pehla word milega mujhe pizza so pizza slash t 1 second word mila mujhe pani puri so pani puri slash t 1 okay so this will be the output of my mapper dot Pi. Okay. After that, this uh, output of mapper dot pi will be read by the reducer dot pi by using this system dot standard in. Okay. And the whole code. Okay. We are not having much of the time, so I'm not explaining the whole code. Okay. But with this, it will find out <coughs> the current word. Okay. Suppose the current word is right now pizza. okay so pizza one it will fetch then next word pani puri one again jab bhi pizza milega okay to yahan pe kya hoga before the input goes into the reducer okay reducer read karega mapper ka <coughs> jo bhi output hai okay before that the uh, sorting will be done okay automatically jo bhi aapka words hai uski sorting hai wo ho jayegi तो क्या होगा कि पिज्जा 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 चारों चार वर्ड्स एक साथ मिलेंगे यहाँ पे ओके सो कॉर्डिंग इज लाइक दैट सो पिज्जा मिलेगा फिर उसका पूरा जो काउंटिंग है वो होगा पिज्जा फोर इज द आउटपुट एंड जब भी एंड होगा तब ये प्रिंट कर देगा करंट वर्ड इज पिज्जा करंट काउंट इज फोर ओके सो दिस इज द कोड ओके नाउ आई एम डायरेक्टली जस्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस बिकॉज इट रिक्वायर्स टाइम how we can <coughs> run the program okay so before running the uh, program okay what you must have the so one thing you must have is the hadoop streaming okay hadoop streaming char file kyunki ye jo map reduce ka task hai okay so map set reducer mein task dena hai it will be <coughs> done by the streaming okay so i am having that char file i kept that jar file in my hadoop folder oh, and you can see this is my streaming file hadoop dash streaming dash 2.7.4 because my hadoop version is this okay so this jar file is required okay first you have to check this this jar file is available or not if it is not there then you have to download it okay after that you just have to create two programs one is for the mapper and second is for the reducer okay so for that what i have done in my e drive okay i have created the folder map reduce inside that i have created mapper file and the reducer file okay so <clears throat> this <clears throat> must be there third step okay you must have one input file okay so input 1 .txt i have created and this is my input 1 .txt okay then the next thing after that okay kya karna hai you must have to <coughs> uh <coughs> copy this 
input one dot txt file from the local file system to hdfs okay so again i'm creating n3 folder okay and the, in my hadoop if you see okay already in the root directory input one dot txt file is there okay so i don't need this thing i'll directly use the command okay so now you have to run the map reduce program okay so kaise run karoge so for running the program okay you must <coughs> use this command that is hadoop char okay after that you have to write the hadoop streaming file path okay so as i shown you that is available in my hadoop folder okay this streaming file is available in the hadoop folder okay so i have to give this path okay hadoop jar then the streaming path after that you just have to use dash input then hdfs input file path whatever input file you want okay that path you have to specify over here dash output कौन सी डिरेक्टरी में आपको आउटपुट स्टोर करना है ओके बट मेक श्योर दिस डिरेक्टरी इज ऑलरेडी नॉट अवेलेबल इन योर एच डी एफ एस ओके सपोज मैंने एन थ्री डिरेक्टरी क्रिएट किया देन आई कैन नॉट यूज एन थ्री ओवर हियर ओके दिस शुड बी द न्यू डिरेक्टरी हियर अदरवाइज इट विल गिव यू द एर दैट इज डिरेक्टरी ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट ओके सो एवरी टाइम यू हैव टू गिव द न्यू डिरेक्टरी ओवर हियर okay as a output directory then dash mapper here you have to give the mapper file path but before that because we have to run the python code okay so you have to write python over here so python then mapper file path reducer python reducer file path okay i have already created this so i'm just copying this okay after writing this it will start the process and here you can see which job is started first second okay mapper job reducer job okay all the things you can see from here <coughs> how many splits because very small file is there uh, very small file is there so number of split is 1 okay and you can see the jobs okay record is red then this is the as i told you your file hdfs this is the url of this already i told you that thing okay mapper is started reducer is started and you can see this thing okay if any error is there okay you can find it from here okay so itne bytes read hue write hue everything you can see from here so there is a map reduce framework map input records one output records eight it's bytes okay that combine reduce uh, shuffled sort okay everything you can see from here and you must see if here map output records are zero okay then there is some problem or here if you see zero okay then there is some error in your code okay so that um, may be the logical error only okay so here you can see your output directory is less map to so now if you want to see the output on the console we have to use the dash cat so hdfs 
tfs dash get okay here we have to write the map 2 and in the map 2 if you see the directory is created okay map 2 and you can see two files are created one is success it means the map reduce jobs job is successful and this is the part 0000, 0, 0. it is partition actually okay so you can create this number of partitions so our file is very small if the smile is bigger you can see lots of partitions over here okay so we have to write slash part dash zero 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 So wait for the output, okay? It will take uh, <coughs> loading time and you can see the output, okay? So uh, this is the end of our lecture. Okay. Uh, if you have having any problem, any doubt, okay? You can contact me, okay? Uh, the material or PPT will be shared to you by Popat sir. Okay. Uh, wait for a minute. Uh, these are the list of our upcoming webinars. Uh, next webinar will be on iOS application development by Professor Maulik Parekh. That will be on 5th of February at 11 a.m. again Saturday. Uh, after that, we have image processing using Python by Dr. Ashwin Dobaria on 19th of February, 11 a.m. And the third webinar will be Advanced SQL PLSQL by Dr. Jaipal Singh Gohil on 12th of March, 11 a.m. <clears throat> These are the list of courses offered under Faculty of Computer Applications, Marwadi University. Uh, we do have three UG programs. One is BCA, BCA Honors, and BSCIT. And under PG courses, we do have MCA and MSc Cybersecurity and Cyber Law. <clears throat> These are our social media platforms where you be in touch for the details about upcoming webinars and all these details. On Facebook, we are available at Marwadi MCA. On Instagram, our channel is uh, Marwadi Education FCA. On LinkedIn, we are available at Marwadi FCA. And on YouTube, FCA Marwadi University. Thank you from my side. Uh, over to Nutan Madam for any queries. One minute. <coughs> uh, I'm giving rights to you if you are having any queries. Okay, you can write it into the chat box.
just a minute okay now you can uh, write your queries into the chat box if you are having any query you can write Yeah, it is helping uh, data science also. But with the uh, for data science, you must learn uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence with the statistics. Uh, HDFS codes are not slower in execution because I'm having i3 processors left up. Okay, if you are having i5 i7, it won't take much of the time. If you are <clears throat> having more memory also, okay, I'm having 4 GB. If you are having 8 GB left up, it won't take much of the time. Yeah, you will get the webinar certificate. Okay, within five days, you will uh, you'll get the uh, email. So any doubt regarding Hadoop or anything? Uh, um, yes, if you are heavy, having any query, okay, you can send mail to Kalpesh sir. Okay, uh, he has sent his uh, mail ID into the chat box. You can read it. Yeah, I'll share the PPT. Kalpesh sir will uh, share this PPT with you. Okay, don't worry. Okay, any other doubt? Uh, this, yes, this course is available for Marwad University student. Okay, in your curriculum, this course is available in the BCA, uh, MCA. Okay, this is there. Okay, now we are concluding this session. Okay. Still, you are having any query, you can directly mail it to Kalpesar. He'll forward uh, your mails to me. Okay, thank you all.